Hello, my name is James Forster Ray and I'm the Head of Geography here at Sir Christopher Hatton Academy. If you're watching this, um, it's quite possible that you're considering choosing geography as a GCSE subject, which is fantastic. The purpose of this short presentation is just to walk you through the qualification, uh, what the exams involve and the assessments and what's studied. So first of all, um, what topics do we study at GCSE Geography? So here's the first section, living with the physical environment. So we, we look at natural hazards such as earthquakes, volcanoes, weather and climate change. We look at the living world, so we focus particularly on tropical rainforests and hot deserts. And we study physical landscapes of the UK, so that basically means rivers and coastal environments. Then also we study challenges in the human environment. So we look at urban issues and challenges, for example, um, how migration from rural to urban areas around the world is increasing and the growth of megacities. We look at the changing economic world with a particular focus on the rise of Nigeria as an economy, as well as how the UK economy has changed through the years. And we look at the challenge of resource management and how um, food, energy and water um, are precious resources that need to be managed carefully. We also, um, throughout the course, develop students' geographical skills, such as um, map skills, uh, graphs, numeracy. We look at um, issue evaluation. So part of the one of the exams is to um, be presented with an issue and students need to uh, use all of the evidence to weigh up their what their decisions would be in that issue. And we do fieldwork skills, um, particularly with a focus on the one day field trip um, in year 10 and more on that later. Which exam board do we follow at Sir Christopher Hatton? We follow AQA, the 8035 specification, and here is a web link for that. Um, you can go to this web link and find more information as well as past papers, mark schemes and examiner reports. Is there any coursework for GCSE Geography? No, there is not. How many exams are there? There are three exams. Papers one and two are an hour and a half and paper three is an hour and a quarter. So what um, is the structure of these exams? So papers one to three from left to right. So on the left here, paper one, um, there are three sections and the question types, multiple choice, short answers, levels of response. So these could be your four uh, and six mark answers, extended prose. So there are nine mark questions as well. Um, similar for um, paper two and um, similar question types as well for paper three. So um, apart from essays, there are a, a wide variety of question types, whether it's a simple multiple choice answer, um, a simple one or two mark short answer, or students might be required to write paragraphs um, for the longer answers. What is the content of these exams? So paper one is the physical environment exam. So as I said before, natural hazards, the living world and physical landscapes in the UK. Paper two is the human exam. So as mentioned before, urban issues and challenges, the changing economic world and the challenge of resource management. And paper three, the, sh the slightly shorter paper, geographical applications. That's where we have the issue evaluation. With this, students are provided um, a pre-released booklet um, about 12 weeks before the exam. And we spend time in class going through what's in that booklet and making sure that students are really au fait with um, the content and the issue uh, question. Um, then there are questions on fieldwork, both the fieldwork that students did themselves during the course and unseen fieldwork questions. So they're presented with um, hypothetical fieldwork um, court, uh, days and how would they go about approaching that. Um, and then you'll see that all three exams encompass the geographical skills as well. What are these exams worth? So papers one and two are worth slightly more, so 35% each. Paper three is 30%. Um, are the exams tiered? No, there is no higher or foundation. It's all the same. What skills or qualities do students need to study this subject? So um, this course will give you the chance to get to grips with some of the big questions which affect our world and understand the social, economic and physical forces and processes which shape and change our world. Geography is a subject that encourages students to apply the theory and knowledge from other academic subjects in different human, physical and environmental contexts and is excellent at developing a student's transferable skills. 
And I've just listed some of these transferable skills down here. So these are some of the core skills I think a good geographer needs. So communication skills, both verbally and written. Um, a keen sense of inquiry about the world around us. I think in a way that's the most important. Students need to be curious about the world, not just in our local area or in the UK, but worldwide, globally. And they, they should be interested in finding out about what's going on in different countries because that's at the core of what geography is. And students should be, be uh, open minded, caring and principled about different people's perspectives and when necessary, having the confidence to take informed risks when dealing with complex issues or problems. Yes. Yeah, so what I mean by this is that students need to show sensitivity. You know, we'll be learning about, for example, people living in poverty, people affected by natural disasters. So we need to show sensitivity and, and be mature when dealing with these issues and being respectful to these uh, people around the world. So here's some testimonials from uh, some current year 10 and year 11 students. I'll just give you 30 seconds to read these to yourself. What careers could a geography qualification lead you to, um, particularly if a student as well went on to study geography at A level one day or even degree level? Um, and what I try to do is show how linked geography is to lots of different subjects or areas of study. So I've broken it down into these different subjects down the left hand side and just thought of some different jobs or careers that would fit with these. So we can see here, for example, um, the sciences, geography, a lot of particularly the physical geography is very science orientated. So environmental science, oceanography, geology, um, energy and resource management. ICT as well is, of course, a huge job sector these days. So um, GIS software design, that's geographical information systems. Think Google Earth, that, that type of thing where you're using mapping software, urban planning, environmental risk assessments. Um, if you're good at languages as well and you have a geography qualification, then that could lead you into tourism, journalism, for example, or working in, in the diplomatic corps, um, mathematics, cartography, the making of maps, meteorology, the study of weather. So there's all sorts of um, jobs and careers that geography leads to. It's a very wide ranging subject. Here are some frequently asked questions that I get from students. Is there lots of writing? Um, not as much as maybe English or history. So you will not need to write essays for GCSE geography and the longest exam questions are just nine marks. So whilst we do, of course, writing in lessons, when it comes to the actual exams, um, the longest question just being nine marks is less than a side of A4. So there are no extended essays. Are there any trips? Yes. So we go on a one day field trip to the seaside town of Hunstanton in Norfolk. This usually takes place in year 10. We look at both the physical and human geography taking place in the town. So students spend the morning on the beach looking at things like coastal erosion um, and how the erosion is being managed by the local council. As well as in the town centre, we look at levels of deprivation and what the local environment's like. Is it a good quality environment or not? Um, and it is a requirement that all students attend this field trip as there will be questions on it within the paper three examination, as I mentioned earlier. OK, so that's the end of my presentation about GCSE Geography at Sir Christopher Hatton Academy. If you have any further questions, please get in touch with myself and you can see my email address here, forster-rayj at hattonacademy.org.uk. Thank you for your time and thank you for considering geography.